All right. Good evening, everybody. Good afternoon, I should say. We are live here on LSM, bringing you the latest severe weather coverage. Take that down there. As you can see, we've got several live stringers out in the field. We've got six people. Looks like one dropped off there at the beginning of the stream. But we'll just go ahead and ignore that. Got a couple of days of severe weather here coming on. So we're going to get with Brett and the other team members here in just a few minutes. I want to take you to see if I can producer Jarvis this. So. How's everybody doing? Hey, Jess, good to see you back with us. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe, ring the bell, and share this across your social media as we go into the next several days here with the chance of severe weather. Take a look live right now at Brett's feed. He is in Texas, currently where there's a enhanced risk of severe weather. And we'll be talking with him just a little bit later, but look at that beautiful drone shot. Just look at that structure. That is beautiful, beautiful structure. That is just insane. He's got the best views. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump into our severe weather risk. Let me pull that up here. For the next couple of days. We'll start out with today. Enhanced risk there for portions of Texas into Louisiana. Parts of Arkansas in the risk for severe weather. Let's see, where'd that go? That's what I wanted. There we go. So Then there's our tornado outlook. Oh, let me see. Slow it on down here. It's going too quick. So there's your tornado outlook there. As you see, 10% hatch region for portions of eastern Texas and western Louisiana as we go through today and tonight. And then as we go into your Wednesday, got that moderate risk of severe weather for portions of Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana. And then extending into the enhanced risk and slight risk. Into Georgia and even parts of Tennessee, Arkansas, back in what extreme eastern Texas. Take a look there at our tornado outlook for tomorrow. As you see, we do have a 15% hatch tornado risk down in Mississippi, parts of Louisiana and Alabama. We're going to have Brett and several other of our chasers live tomorrow with us as we go throughout the day. What's up, Brian Davis? Good to see you. Where are you watching from today, Brian? In the meantime here, we'll look at Thursday. And this is all we have for Thursday. We have a slight risk for portions of Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas, even up into Ohio and Kentucky. So we're going to keep an eye on that. As for right now, looking at the live weather. Hold on just a second. Looking at the live weather here, we're going to take a look. Take a look at the radar right now. Not much happening. We do have one severe thunderstorm warning that expires at 3.30 central time, as you can see there on the left-hand side with our Hazalert software. Going to be for Nacogdoches, Panola, Rusk, and Shelby counties. The only severe thunderstorm warning we have on the board right now. We'll take a look here at Doppler radar. Zoom in on that storm. Again, that's more of a Boeing segment. No real risk for tornadoes at the moment. Look at our rotation product. There's some spin, but nothing significant at this time. So we're going to keep watching that over the next several hours as it progresses to the east. Take a look back to the west here. We've got two flash flood warnings, and we've got some storms firing here to the west in Abilene. And nothing really matured yet today, but we do have several chasers out in the field. Looks like one of them has some flooding on tape. We'll go take a look at that. It's going to be from our old Brian M. Finger there. Where is Brian? Let's see where Brian's at today. 
Just give me two seconds here to go pull his location up. His end finger is going to be in Frierson, Louisiana, where he's got some flooding there. He's a little out of focus, but as you see, he just took the drone out with him as well. So those would be pretty cool shots coming in later this afternoon. Looks like we got several chases, uh, chasers out there. We got Chase Boyer, Brandon Clement, Brian Infinger, Bob Pack, Brad Arnold, Brett Adair, and Bryce Shelton. Brian's watching from Sherwood, Arkansas. Good to see you from Arkansas. Pretty nice state there. We're going to sit here on this flooding video for just a minute here. It's pretty crazy. Brian, if you can hear me or you're watching, yeah, just adjust that focus a little bit for me there. That's awesome. Yeah, Brian, I agree. Tomorrow is going to be dangerous. And uh, if I don't have to work tomorrow, I'll probably be live streaming. Or I may go out and chase and live stream just depends on how everything goes. So we're sitting here watching Brian M. Finger live in Louisiana right now, checking on some flooding. And uh, let's see. Go back here to all our chasers. Looks like all their feeds are up. You can see them there. Brett Adair, Brian M. Finger, Brian Shelton, Brandon Clement. And several others. Let's see if I can get find his location. Let's see. M finger here. So he's gonna be just south of Shreveport. About how far? Alright, so we'll see if we can throw that up with the radar there, keep his feet in. As you can see. That's very loud. I gotta turn that off. All right, so we just got that new severe thunderstorm warning there. Brian is actually gonna be down just south of Shreveport on this off this main highway here trying to get a better pinpoint location on that we'll have that coming over the next couple of weeks got a few people working on that they did have a lot of rain last night a lot of training uh thunderstorms just kind of sat there all night and dumped water so and then they've got this big big line about to move through as well not really going to help their situation they're not under a flash flood warning at this time but they may be over the next several hours. So we're just going to kind of sit here, hang out. Again, we got that new severe thunderstorm warning. That's going to be for Cato, Caddo, and DeSoto parishes in Louisiana. And then still got that warning back to the west for Nacogdoches, Panola, Rusk, and Shelby counties. And that goes till 5 p.m. or 4 p.m. Central. I'm on Eastern time, so just make note of that there. As you watch our has alerts, that is all in Eastern time. So if you're in Central time, just subtract an hour. Going to see about getting bread in here over the next couple of minutes. Don't see him in there currently, but we're going to get him in, let him kind of give us the the play-by-play -play for today and tomorrow and kind of what his thoughts are. So in the meantime, I'm going to pipe up some music. I'll leave the radar up. Actually, what I'll do, I'm going to take M finger full and just take a look at that. Give me just a second to shoot bright a text, and I will be right back with you.
All right. If you're just tuning in here with us, we do have an enhanced risk of severe weather today for portions of Texas and Louisiana. And we also have some special guests with us. You're watching flooding there from Brian M. Finger in Louisiana. But we got the voice of Brett Adair and Beating Barry here. I'm going to go ahead and chat with them. Brett, what you looking at? Where you at, buddy? Yeah, Brandon, right now I am uh, just southwest of Buffalo, Texas. Uh, we're on Highway 79, U.S. Highway 79 here, moving toward the southwest. Ford Marquez, we have a inkling that we might end up having a couple of big supercells down near Round Rock and Austin in a bit. So we're going to go down in that direction, see if we can't intercept those as they pop off. Gotcha there. Do uh, you think it's going to be a big threat today, or what are you kind of feeling since that enhanced risk was put in place? Uh, it looks like to me at this point, I think the very large hail threat is there. <clears throat> There's a boundary across the area, uh, and it's kind of draped west to east, so it's going to be interesting to see where that sets up. We were just watching a storm that was kind of dying and pulsing uh, near Marquez move along the boundary. It's now moving up into Buffalo right now, uh, crossing Interstate 45. So what we're watching for is to see if any of these storms can get sustained uh, off of this low pressure area down here near Austin and, and move across any of the boundaries. If, they can, if we can get a right deviating storm, we could have something very interesting happen where, you know, three to 4,000, maybe even higher Cape is showing up down in this area. Um, I think that's going to be on the western fringes of the enhanced risk. I think the bigger threat is going to be very large hail down here. But, but, the threat of a tornado or two is also possible, in my opinion, with any storm that can root and move along the boundary. I gotcha. So what are your, uh, what are your thoughts about tomorrow? You know, they got that moderate risk out. We were just talking about that earlier before you jumped in. What are your feelings and thoughts on that? There's going to be some pretty bad damage uh, from likely tornadoes and a big MCS that moves through the area, uh, especially across Louisiana, Mississippi by tomorrow afternoon, maybe even Alabama. So there's plenty of directional components um, that is available for these storms to feed off of. It's just... I think we lost B for just a second, but he'll be back momentarily there. Having some issues today with a Starlink going through uh, rural, rural areas of Texas. Oh, there he is. We got him back for a second. Yeah, it's, it, I think tomorrow is a significant day. I, I don't know that there will be a lot of long track type tornadoes, but tomorrow is a significant day nonetheless. And I think everybody needs to pay attention uh, as you go into the mid morning the afternoon across Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. Gotcha. Well, we'll, we'll keep following along with you. It looks like you can get down some flooding and just, just south of Shreveport, which we you know yesterday that area got hammered with training uh, thunderstorms most of the afternoon. Yeah, most definitely. That boundary had set up over the area, and uh, we saw those storms continue to uh to grow upscale and rain over top of that area but uh i think there's more in the way of flooding component potential later tonight and early tomorrow as well across louisiana mississippi and alabama is these these are going to be massive rain producers um and, it, and if you're out you know observing these storms keep in mind they're going to be very fast moving a lot of it's going to be rain wrapped if it does produce a tornado you're not going to see it uh and you may not see it till the debris hits you so uh, just keep that in mind. Be very, very careful as these storms could pack a significant punch. Um, especially this afternoon here across Texas, we expect supercells in central Texas to move to the east. Uh, large hail and maybe a tornado. And then overnight and into tomorrow, especially fast moving storms across the lower Mississippi Valley. Uh, damaging winds, strong tornadoes, everything's on the table. 
Gotcha. And then even into, uh, I think it's, let me get my days right here, uh, Thursday for the Carolinas and portions of uh, Ohio and Kentucky. Yeah, this is going to be uh, quite potentially a multi-day event, quite likely a multi-day event. And, uh, you know, everybody needs to be from, from all the way to the East Coast really needs to uh, be advised that this has the potential to be pretty substantial uh, all the way through Thursday until this uh, compact, uh, powerful system really sweeps across uh, out of the lower Texas area, across the southeast and off the mid-Atlantic coast. Yeah, I had one of our stringers hit me up wanting me to go ride with him tomorrow. But uh, I don't know if that's well, going to happen due to work and other things, but we'll see. It's, uh, to be honest with you, man, it's, it's, it, looks, it looks rough. It looks nasty. Um, I wouldn't be shocked to see a couple of uh, big storms evolve. And, and again, I'm, I'm seeing signs now that, that we're going to have some big ones evolve this evening, too. Uh, between Austin and Round Rock around 7 o'clock, I'd be real interested to see what happens there with uh, 4,500 Cape and, and some shear and a boundary there. So we're going to be there and in attendance, and we'll be live as that all transpires this evening. It looks like a, uh, looks like a, a rough go of it, though, here in the next couple hours across portions of uh, Central Texas. Gotcha. Yeah, it's pretty quiet right now, but uh, looking at your camera here, Got some cloud cover going on there. What's the what's yeah? We're working on like getting to the southwest. Well, we're we're just north of the boundary right now, um, so we're headed southwest. We will cross that boundary down as we approach Austin, uh, where temperatures are in the 80s with dew points in the mid 70s down there. I mean, it is a powder keg, so I, I would not be surprised to see some real nasty stuff happen. Uh, looks like there's one cell trying to go up now west of downtown Austin. Uh, so we'll we'll see how all that transpires here in a little bit. But uh, yeah, it's 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 an interesting setup for the afternoon, no doubt. Yeah, sure thing. I want to bring in Beating Barry. He's kind of helping us on the backside too. Dean, what what you got going? Well, Jarvis, uh, day is kind of a slow burn. It seems like it's unfolding, but it is unfolding. I know Brett's been out for a couple of hours now um, going live here, and we have his cam there on LSM TV, um, reporting in from the LSM TV Emergency Operations Center. We're scanning the uh, radio frequencies all across central and eastern Texas. Thankfully, things have been pretty quiet. Uh, it doesn't seem like there is a whole lot of public safety activity. Uh, however, did want to bring up, if we look out into East Texas, uh, crossing over the border into Louisiana, looks like a well, system of storms running along a line from about Beckville to Center. Beckville to Center currently uh, is, the, is the area of concern. The National Weather Service in Shreveport, Louisiana, has put out a severe thunderstorm warning, and that's going to be covering... Uh, Panola County, Rust County, Nagadochis County, and Shelby County in eastern Texas, and they have just extended that uh, warning into Caddo Parish and DeSoto Parish in northwestern Louisiana, and that has uh, that has a clock on it that's going to be expiring at 5 p.m. and uh, keeping an eye on that for any signs of severe development. Uh, that the once again, it's going to be in eastern Texas. Earlier flash flood warnings for Falls County, Texas, that's set to expire in four minutes. We're just reminding everybody who's watching if you're in the area of any of these storms, uh, anything today is going to be a prolific rainmaker. Uh, the severe thunderstorm warning is warned for 60 mile per hour wind gusts and penny sized hail. So, we're just reminding everybody to stay safe and to uh, just be careful out there today. Don't try to ford any flooded roadways. But two inches of rushing water can take a man off of his feet, and six inches of rushing water can float most passenger vehicles. Turn around, don't drown, don't be a statistic. You have multiple ways to receive watches and warnings, and you can stick right here with us on LSM TV and Storm Tracker Brett Adair's channel as we bring you the latest and greatest from the field. Jarvis, back to you. Yeah, Dean, I was just pulling up the watches here. It looks like they went ahead and put out a tornado watch a couple of hours ago here until about 9 p.m. Central Time. For a good portion of west, central and west, or east Texas, I'm sorry. Good grief. And then portions of uh, Louisiana. So, as Brett said, going to be an 
interesting evening, especially with all the cape and the dew points. Yeah, you definitely got that. And it's, like I said, this day is a multifaceted day. It looks like there is a lot of uh, a lot of moisture involved in this. So anything that you do see, if you should happen to come across. Uh, God forbid a tornado, but uh, you are not going to be able to see it coming. It will be engulfed in rain. It's best to just treat those warnings as gospel. Don't go get a look for yourself. Trust the National Weather Service and trust us to bring it to you, keep you safe out here. Yep. Well, thank you, Mr. Dean. We'll come back to you here in just a little bit. Uh, I want to go back here. Actually, let's see if I can get you guys a video preview in discord i'll have to work on that here in just a second but taking a look now at that severe thunderstorm warning again that goes for the next 30 minutes or so dean was just talking about that you look in there not much going on in the way of rotation we take a look at our rotation product a little bit a little bit to the west of carthage but nothing uh nothing significant but we'll keep an eye on that take a look at our reflectivity there we'll put it in motion I see that kind of bowing segment coming up. The biggest concern with that is going to be your 60-mile-an-hour wind gust. So if you got any lawn chairs hanging out, you were trying to watch the eclipse yesterday or anything like that, go ahead and pull that up under the carport. You don't want that to start sailing across the, uh, the neighbor's yard when that storm gets to you. And if you got your trampoline and it's not quite staked down, you may want to go, go try and stake that down real quick. Got a lot of a lot of wind with these storms. All right, let's see what's going on in chat. How's everybody doing? We got Brian Davis is in here, Richard Wilson, Big E. Jess is still with us. So let's see what Brian said. He wanted to be a meteorologist. Been tracking weather since I was five. Yeah, man, I've I've been tracking weather since I was probably in uh I was probably like 10 or 11, definitely back in the, when the Storm Chaser show was on Discovery, that kind of got me hooked. And then from there, it's just been crazy. Uh, for me, I went out and started chasing and got involved with LSM, a couple other major weather networks, doing some really incredible stuff. Uh, Richard says, Texas Tornado Country Trail RV Resort. Hmm, interesting. Southern Brian says, southern cells are exploding. I think that is where our tornado threat is to the south. And you think tomorrow could go high risk for wind by looking at all the models today. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to really dive deep into the models today. I've had a couple of things on the back end taken care of. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what, what happens there. I'm debating on trying to go out and chase tomorrow myself. And also run the live stream as Drew Richards will be back with us tomorrow, running the radar, running the stream. So maybe Jarvis gets out of the uh, out of the control room and out in the field for a little bit. We'll see. Again, looking back down to the south where Brett's going, he's headed towards Austin. We do have one one little blip there that's popped up just southwest of Lakeway, Texas. We're going to keep an eye on that as we go over the next several hours. And uh, we'll see what happens there. We're going to be following along with him and all of our other chasers here. As you can see on screen, we got several people out. Looks like one of them may have dropped off, but that's okay. We'll take care of that. We'll see if we can reset his feed there. But right now, we're going to kind of cruise along here with Brian M. Finger. I'm going to pot up some music for a few minutes. Uh, if you got any questions, put them in chat. Happy to answer any questions you might have, or if you got a story you want to tell let me know i'll be right here so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at brian m finger speed again he's still on that flooding scene out in louisiana just south of shreveport and that is a lot of flooding that's that's probably my least favorite thing about chasing is when you get these supercells and you're out really just trying to chase the storm. And then you come across all this flooding and it just makes it so much harder to move around. As you see, that looks like a 
tanker truck, maybe. Looks like he's handling it pretty well getting through it. Hard to tell if that's a, it's gravel. Yeah, it looks like a gravel road. Not too deep there in certain spots, but definitely towards the center. We're going to watch this pickup truck here as he treks on through. Dean Barry popping in, Chad. Welcome on in, Dean. We just heard from you there. He's going to be in chat as well. So any questions, comments, let us know. Be sure to smash that like button as that gets us up in the algorithm, gets some more people tuning in. And share this on social media. Anytime we go live, be sure to share it on social. It really helps us out. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to watch this pickup truck here as it comes across. Looks like he's taking the smart approach there, kind of going in the middle instead of the sides. Looks to be like a Ford F-150 of sorts. So, you know, we're just going to kind of be monitoring that there. And the rest of our chasers throughout the evening here. I wonder if Brian have audio. He does not. But i tell you what, I would like to take a listen at Bob Pack's audio on live feed too. I'm just going to solo that in my ear for a second while you guys enjoy this. So it looks like Bob Pack's kind of hanging out there, not really saying much at the moment. But again, guys, you know, if you see flooding across the roadways, remember, turn around, don't drown. Last thing you want to do is drive into it, and that water be move may not be looking like it's moving fast, but it doesn't take much water to start pushing a vehicle. So always turn around, don't drown, and find another route. We got... Google Maps and Apple Maps and all that stuff to help us maneuver around it. So just use caution if you're out there. Take a look here at this Mack truck coming on through. Then it looks like we have some sort of... A lot of traffic on this road. Must be one of the main roads to kind of get back into the logging and... Things like that. Anyways, I'm going to pot up some music here. i got to go grab a drink, and we'll be right back with you. Enjoy this live view of Brian M. Finger in just south of Shreveport, Louisiana.
All right, producer Jarvis jumping back in here, here as we just got a new flash flood warning out. Again, that's going to be for 
Texas and Louisiana for Texas is going to be Cherokee, Greg, Harrison, Nacogdoches, Panola, Rusk, Shelby, and Smith until 7.30 Eastern Time or 6.30 Central. Emergency management has reported flooding in those areas, so use extreme caution if you have to go out and drive this evening or if you're heading home from work or heading into work. And just follow the turn around, don't drown saying. Can't say can't express that enough. Turn around, don't drown. And then we have another flash flood warning. That's gonna be for Benville. Ah. Caddo, Claiborne, DeSoto, Red River, Webster Parishes in Louisiana, and then Harrison and Panola in Texas, and that expires at 745 Eastern or 645 Central. Again, turn around, don't drown. You can see those flash flood warnings here appear on radar. As you see, we do have a lot of heavy precipitation moving through and not moving very quickly either. So it's just going to be dropping rain over the next couple of hours. Take a look at the live radar loop there. You can still have that one severe thunderstorm warning, a couple flash flood warnings. Nothing really going on as of yet this evening. We'll take a look across the board there again. Got those storms just back near Abilene starting to fire up. Going to continue to watch those. Also got a cell down near Brownwood popping up. Our own Brett Adair is headed south towards Austin, Texas, where we've already got a little little blip starting to form there near Lakeway. Keep an eye on that. And we'll take a look at the satellite here. And we want the visible. As you can see, very cloudy across portions of northern Texas, into Louisiana, Mississippi, but down down near Houston and Austin, not very many clouds. Just a couple clouds here and there. Uh, but that will change as we go on through this evening. Getting down there. Let's see what our temperatures are. It is warm in Texas. I tell you that. 70, 79 in Houston. 87, 85 San Antonio. 81 in Austin. What's our dew points? Let's see if I can change this on the fly. Dew points. Dew points in the 70s, so Brett was just on earlier saying definitely going to be a hail threat, but can't rule out a tornado or two with all the parameters we have in place. Let me know where you're watching from in chat. We want to hear from you. And if you got any questions, let us know. Happy to answer them. we got Beating Barry in the chat to catch things if, we, if I don't catch them, so send it all your way our way we'll and let me know Dean I know you're watching let me know if that music in the background is too overpowering I can turn that down I'm trying to fine tune it with a new music program we got here just so if things go quiet we still have some audio going on the stream so just let me know there Looks like Dean's going to be doing a fine job posting those warnings in chat as well as they come in. So we're going to turn the meet, meet our data off, turn the radar back on, and kind of watch what happens over the next several hours. We'll turn the playlist back on, which will rotate through everybody's live camera, the radar, and our Hazalert software. Here in just a few minutes, looks like Dean got a report from Palestine, Texas. County Road 21 got power lines down. Where is that at, Dean? Let me see. Here, Dean, I potted you back up. Where is Palestine, Texas at?
All right, looks like Dean has stepped away for a moment there. But we'll check in with him again. He's going to be in chat posting all the warnings, interacting with you as we go through the afternoon and evening here. I'm producer Jarvis filling in for Drew Richards and David Neal. Texas. Uh, County Road 2101 at 2107. If you happen to be in the area, mm -hmm. County Road... Oh, Dean, where'd you go? Anyways, he'll pop back in here in a second. We'll just go live to him. Well, Brett is posting in our chat, our private chat on Discord, saying that Storm near Austin, as it matures later on, could produce. So we're going to keep watching it here over the next couple of hours as these storms get some more fuel. Uh, Jess, east of I-45, southwest of Jacksonville, Texas. Jess, thank you for that. Kept me from having to go look at Google Maps for a second. Take a look there at that flash flood warning. Three thirty this afternoon for Falls County, so that's going to expire here in the next. That'll be expiring in the next little bit, or is that a new one? Anyways, we'll keep watching all that down to the south here. Let me update the radar there. Oh yeah, that one already expired. Duh, it was back. <laughs> Looking at an old frame of radar. Yeah, definitely going to be watching the storm towards Austin. Looks like Brett is heading right down there. It's going to be racing down there to get after that as it matures. As it moves to the east, as you can see, he's heading down there now. With his outstanding professional driver, Heath Lawler. Shout out to Heath. He is the one that drives the, uh, the beast, as I call it. And Brett's in the passenger seat doing live streams and everything else. Doing phoners, live interviews, etc. So again, we're going to be following along with him and several other chasers today that are in Texas and parts of Louisiana. Let's see. Brett just sent me something over to put in the radar. Let's check that out. Me screenshot this and send it to him. Got an error there, B. That's pretty cool. He's able to make that for us, so it really helps us out. Dean, you still there with us, Dean? I think he's still with us, still here with us. We're trying out some new things today as well. We'll go back up to the north and east here towards Shreveport. Looks like they've extended that severe thunderstorm warning out again, including Shreveport, Ringgold, Cushada, Mansfield. And that goes till 530. 4.30 Central. So if you're in the path of that, again, the risk is going to be 60 mile an hour per bleh, 60 mile per hour winds. And let's see, at 3.51, severe thunderstorms are located along a line extending from near Deberry to 7 miles southwest of Stonewall, moving east at 50 miles per hour. Main hazard is going to be 60 mile per hour winds and penny sized hail. Could you imagine if 
Penny was Dave's chicken, that would be some really big hail. <laughs> his his chicken's name is Penny, and when I said Penny sized hail, it got me. I was like, "Oh man, that would be some big hail." But no, Penny sized hail like the uh, like the coin. <laughs> oh, losing my mind already on stream. What a we're in for a treat tonight. <laughs> but again, got that severe thunderstorm warning there that goes for about the next 45 minutes or so. Trying to do rough math. And we'll follow along there. Got Fred Adair with us. We've got Bob Pack. Brandon Clement, Brian Mfinger, Bryce Shelton, and Chase Boy are all with us this afternoon for the potential of any severe weather. Keep it right here on LSM. I'm going to mute the mic, and we are going to put the playlist back on.
All right. If you're just joining in here with us, I see Anthony in chat. What's up, Mr. Anthony? Good to see you in here. Hopefully, Josh Burnham gets in here later. Because y'all two kill it in the chat. So, take a look here. We got Bryce Shelton. Got several chasers out as the storms. Storms grow this evening. Uh, specifically watching near the Austin area where Brett is flying to. So, we'll keep an eye on that. Let us know where you're watching from in chat. We got Jess in there. We got Dean. We got the big E. Brian Davis still with us. Got a bunch of great folks with us this evening. So we're going to keep watching all of this as it happens. Again, I want to stop the playlist for a moment and just show you the radar here. We do have a tornado watch out for the next several hours. Let's see. That goes till 9 p.m. Central Time for portions of Texas and Louisiana. So if you're in that red shaded box, make sure you got your tornado safety precautions in place. Have your safe space to go to and all your supplies if needed. And again, looking at our radar here down to the south, we're watching the storm here. Been watching it over the past several, several minutes here. Kind of loop back the radar to show you what it started out as. Kind of started out just a little blip there, like a light rain shower. Now it's starting to intensify. As you see, getting that purple core in there. Look at it, rotation. No rotation yet, but we'll keep an eye on that. Again, Brett is heading down there. He'll be in position probably in the next... 10, 15 minutes, if that. He was just in Round Rock earlier. And we'll actually take a look at his feed here live as he's heading there. Just watching from the UP, as per usual. You did mention earlier we did have a uh, mesoscale discussion come out. Kind of want to take a look at that. Let's see. Let's see here. The severe threat is increasing behind an initial round of storms with large hail and damaging gust as the main threat couple instances of two plus inch hail and perhaps a tornado are also possible a new weather watch issuance will be likely to address the impending severe threat so definitely going to be a big hail event but still can't rule out the possibility of a tornado or two and again they're looking at a potential weather watch issued in the next few hours So we're going to kind of ride along here with Brett as he's closing in on that cell. Go back there. As he's closing in on that cell near Austin, he's going to kind of follow that and track it all the way to the east and eventually end up in position for tomorrow for the slight risk into extreme east Texas, Louisiana, and parts of Mississippi. So keep it right here with us. We're going to ride along. and see what happens. Brian Davis, welcome back. Good sir, good to have you. All right, looks like we got a new severe thunderstorm warning here for that cell Brett is on. We'll go to his feed here in just a minute, and he may even have audio coming on shortly. So we'll zoom in, take a look at that again. That severe thunderstorm warning is going to be for Travis County in Texas till 6.15 p.m. Eastern, 5.15 Central. One-inch hail and 
60 mile per hour wind gusts possible with this. So definitely keep an eye on that if you're anywhere near B Cave. I wonder if that cave's actually got bees in it. That'd be pretty, pretty interesting. Is there a cave there? Who knows? <laughs> but we got Lost Creek, Westlake Hills, and portions of Austin in the path of this warning. So make sure you're inside, got your car parked in the carport, unless you want some hail dents. I don't think most of you do want hail dents, but... You know, there's a couple storm chasers out there I'm good friends with, and that's kind of how they build character with their vehicle. So, but getting that severe thunderstorm warning for Travis, Texas, expiring at 515 Central Time. Really started to grow in size here over the past, really the past couple of minutes. And still not seeing any any rotation still early on. But it is in prime prime conditions here. As you see 78, 82, 83, and then our dew points sitting about 70, 72. So it's in a great area. You can even see on Brett's feet here, we'll take that full. You can see the sun starting to starting to peek out through those clouds as he makes his way to that storm. Kind of go back here to the radar. Turn on the uh, ghost satellite here. Yeah, as you can see, nothing. Not a huge amount of cloud cover here, so any storms that get going should, shouldn't have too many issues. But again, seeing some clouds there back out, kind of show you a regional view there. Clouds to the north, clouds to the east. Right there from, let's say, Austin south and back to the west. Hardly any clouds at all. With that being said, though, I'm going to take a short break off the mic here. We're going to leave the radar up and Brett's feed. I'm going to make that here for you shortly. And we'll kind of follow along. So stay with us right here on LSM. Enjoy the music. Or if you don't like the music and want us to add some different music, hey, let us know. We're trying new things here. Trying to get a good format going. So just let us know in the chat over there. You got Beating Barry in the chat helping us out all afternoon, evening, and even into the overnight hours if it goes that long. So stay right here with us. Michael Beard. Oh, Michael Beard. Afternoon to you, good sir. Surprised you're not out chasing today. So if I remember correctly, you live in Texas. I'd, if I lived in Texas, I'd be out chasing. Play Eye of the Tiger, Michael. It's copyright. We'll get flagged. I can't can't get us flagged. <laughs> but if we could get a license to play play music, I'd just I'd start DJing. Throw in some rock, some top 40, some country, some alternative. Yeah, Michael says crap set up something storms. Can't see it because my emoji icon's in the way, but yeah, I get that. But tomorrow definitely looks to be a big day. Got a moderate risk there for tomorrow. Well, not there in Texas, but portion of Mississippi, Louisiana, and extreme eastern Texas. So tomorrow will definitely be a big day for sure. We had Brett in here earlier talking about it. He's got a concern for 
couple strong tornadoes tomorrow. So, again, you're watching LSM. I'm going to go grab a drink. I never did get to leave earlier and go grab a drink. So, I'll be back and we'll continue following along with Brett Adair and the storm in Travis County, Texas. He's closing in on. So, keep it right here and enjoy.
All right, Jarvis, back here with you. We're just riding along with meteorologist Bert Adair as he closes in on the severe thunderstorm warning just to the west of Austin, Texas. Again, that severe thunderstorm warning for Travis until 515. And it looks like we just got a... Uh, let me mute that. That's going to be a problem. Take a look at that. It looks like it's starting to really get its act together here over the past several minutes. So we're going to keep watching that. We'll check for a rotation. Nothing too crazy there. Do I have lightning? Nah, I don't have lightning. Okay. But anyways, we're going to keep watching that here as he closes in there on your screen. At the top left. Did I say Bert? Michael Beard, did I say Bert Adair? <laughs> oh. That's funny. I have to clip that for the bloopers because that'll be the second time I've made the blooper reel. But <laughs> so we'll go back up here. Get new severe thunderstorm warning coming in for McCulloch, Mason, and Sansaba, Texas until 530 Central Time there. Again, main threat there is going to be one inch hail and six mile hour wind gusts. So, Voca, Fredonia, Cherokee, Richland Springs even. You got some time to get out there and pull that patio furniture in or get the trampoline strapped down or whatever you got. You got any of that stuff out there. It starts blowing around, ends up in your neighbor's yard or ends up in a field 15 miles down the road. So you got some time there. If you need to go take care of anything outside, garbage cans, patio furniture, anything like that. Again, following along with Brett Adair. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate the correction there. And he's closed in on this cell here. We're going to keep an eye on him. Maybe he'll pot his audio up here in a little bit and get us give us a brief overview of what's going on. But we shall see. Again, take, in, take a little extra time today for these storms to get going here. Popped on a little early. If you're just tuning in, Jump in that chat and hit the like button and uh, let us know where you're watching from. And if you got any questions, we got Beating Barry, we got Michael Beard, Anthony in chat to help us out as well. So let us know where you're watching from and any questions you may have. Again, just looking here. No, nope, wrong thing. Again, just looking here, there's your severe risk for the next couple of days there. I'm going to try and slow that down because it just goes and goes and goes. So there's your severe risk for today and enhanced risk for portions of Texas into Louisiana. And then here's your tornado outlook as well. Got a 10% hatch tornado risk for portions of Eastern Texas and Western Louisiana through today and tonight. Then as we go in tomorrow, as of right now, it's a moderate risk for severe weather. That moderate risk is going to be for portions of Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana. The enhanced risk and slight risk extending outward and to the north and east. Again, our tornado threat there is going to be a 15% hatch tornado risk. So make sure if you're watching us in those areas highlighted there that you have your severe weather plans ready and available for tomorrow. You don't want to get caught off guard. You always want to stay weather aware. Robert's watching from Canada. You know, Robert, I've never been to Canada, but I've always wanted to. Just learned some, some about the history and the culture and 
things like that, and also try Tim Hortons. I hear nothing but great things about Tim Hortons, but I've never had it. But I'd like to know your thoughts on Tim Hortons. Do you do you like Tim Hortons? Let me know. We're just kind of kind of hanging out here as we're watching Brett. Let me throw that back up. Looks like he's getting into some some breaks in the clouds there, getting that sunshine, the heating of the day. Again, already seeing temps in the in the uh, let's see in the eighties down there, and dew points in the seventies. So, Anthony saying you you guys have Tim Hortons in Michigan. And almost daily for you, huh? Assuming it's got to be better than Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts. I will say, though, I've been to Michigan several times, Anthony, and I've never seen a Tim Hortons. Otherwise, I would have whipped the vehicle right up in there and got some. Jess has had Tim Hortons as well in the Detroit area. Well, I'm going to be in Pennsylvania this weekend. Uh, maybe Dean can help me out there with some Tim Hortons. Always heard good things about the coffee and the Tim bits, but we'll see. That's pretty cool, though. I didn't know they were in the States. You have some... You have two within a mile of your house, Anthony? Oh, that's dangerous. Very dangerous. Robert says he loves Tim Hortons as well. Okay, so it's not just a... uh, Not just a thing the Americans get excited about when they travel up there. You never know. Never know. Yeah, starting to see some dark sky there on Brett's stream in your top left corner of your screen there. Again, he's approaching that storm just to the west of Austin. There near Bee Cave. That's such a cool town name. Bee Cave. Wonder what the buzz in town is today. No? Yes? No? <laughs> Terrible with jokes. But yeah, we're following along there watching that. Definitely going to have some big hail in there. Hail icons there. Right now just seeing a little bit over half an inch in size hail. No reports coming in yet, but we'll turn those on. Keep an eye on those. Again, kind of going back, looking at the picture there. Hey, cat, what are you doing? You want some attention? My orange tabby cat came in and decided to announce himself. So there we go. Heading back over here to the severe thunderstorm. It looks like they upgraded that to a considerable damage threat there. Again, that's going to be for Fredonia, Cherokee. San Saba, Richland Springs, not a lot of towns there, definitely mainly over rural rural areas. Harkeyville, place like that. Let me get the text up on this. Thunderstorm located near Voca, moving east at 30. This storm continues to strengthen with golf ball-sized hail possible and 60-mile-an-hour wind gusts, so... Definitely want to make sure if you got your car parked outside, you move it in the garage or your carport, any furniture you may have, go ahead and just tie that down. Josh Burnham, welcome, welcome, welcome. Jess O B Cave. Anthony coming in clutch with the Tim Hortons there. Tim Hortons locations. I'm actually going to Allentown. So, 
when I land, I'm going to Tim Hortons. Does anybody recommend anything from Tim, Tim Hortons? Like, I drink my coffee black most of the time, but every once in a while I like to sweeten it up. So is there any specific thing to try? Any combination? Let me know. So again, if you're just tuning in, producer Jarvis filling in today as Drew and Dave are out of the office. So you're stuck with me for the next couple hours here as the severe weather ramps up. Yeah, just now I really don't have no excuse, no excuses. Uh, but if you're just tuning in, let us know where you're watching from. Jump in chat. Remember, you got to be a subscriber of the channel. So hit that subscribe button. And while you're next to that, go ahead and hit the like button. And join in on the chat. We want to know where you're from, where you're watching, and any questions you might have. Beating Barry's in chat. We got Josh Burnham, Anthony, Jess. We got a ton of people in chat. Robert's in chat. Everybody hanging out with us this afternoon on your Tuesday. Has anybody seen that TikTok going around? I'm sure you have. If not, definitely need to look it up. It's, uh, I forget his name. But he, he does the whole, what's up, brother? Tuesday, Tuesday. I don't know. I don't know. I've seen it pop up on my TikTok. It's pretty funny. It's what all the what all the kids are doing nowadays, which I guess is better than doing the Tide Pod Challenge. So, <laughs> oh, you guys have to check that out and let me know if you've seen it. Beating Barry, police units at Austin Airport temporarily suspending outdoor operations due to weather. Yeah, probably not a bad idea that they did that. Yeah, Josh, it's it's sketch. Yes, somebody else knows knows the trend that's going on. <laughs> Michael Beard, what's TikTok? TikTok is the world's greatest time killer. A lot of people download it and watch TikTok, and they're like, oh, you know, it's just videos of people dancing and doing crazy stuff. But I, I tell you, mine started out that way, and then all of a sudden I started learning about electrical, construction, uh, what else, computer stuff. It started, I guess, taking things from other apps because, you know, everything tracks you now. So, but yeah, I know my TikTok turns out to be very educational. 85% of the time. Hey, Josh, you know the trend too. Yeah, yeah, I got it too. And then I've got a 14-year-old brother that was shocked when I walked in and was like, what's up, brother? Tuesday, Tuesday. He's like, how do you know that? You're too old. I'm like, I'm 28 and I'm on TikTok. And Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, I'm going to see it somewhere. Yeah, Jess, you're right. That alg algorithm really does figure you out. Which I wasn't searching for like electrical or construction or car repair or anything like that. But it definitely, definitely learned really quickly. And it was actually kind of nice. Because I don't care to see people dancing or doing doing crazy trends. You know, it's like. All right, it's cool, but I don't need to see it 5,000 times every time I open TikTok. And eventually, we're going to be on TikTok. we got to figure out a couple things, but uh, talking to Brett, we're going to probably start going live on TikTok and YouTube at the same time. Don't have all the details worked out there, but definitely in the works. Josh, you get your world news from TikTok. I tell you what, I actually get most of my news from X, formerly known as Twitter. I just call it Twitter. But then usually that transfers over and I pick it up into TikTok too. So very interesting how all that works together. It's also very creepy, but it is what it is. 
the hoof trimming videos. You know, I had a couple of those pop up. It'll probably pop up now because my phone's listening to me right here. Those are pretty interesting. Didn't mean to get too off topic there, but again, got these two severe thunderstorm warnings in Texas. Again, for Travis, expiring at 515. For McCulloch, Mason, and San Saba counties in Texas until 530. And that one's got the considerable tag on it with golf ball size hail and six mile hour wind gust. That's going to be your storm up here to the northwest. Take a look at that there. Put it in motion for you. So if you're anywhere in that polygon, make sure you're indoors, away from windows. And if you have a garage or a carport, definitely park your car under that unless you unless you want some hail damage. Then going back to the south here in Austin, Brett's still chasing after it. I think it's going to wait for him. Not moving too, too fast there. Again, that's going to be for Travis County until 515 with 60 mile hour wind gust and quarter size hail possible. And really, both of these storms are going to have to watch over the next several hours as they're in a really decent area of for severe weather. All the ingredients are there. Again, the main threat is going to be hail, but possible tornado or two cannot be ruled out. So we'll just have to keep an eye on it. Over the next little bit here, we got Beating Barry in the background helping us out. Let's see. Just definitely here for more quality weather content on TikTok. Yeah, it's crazy. My uh, algorithm never picked up on on the weather stuff. But there for a while, I was seeing one guy, and he was just absolutely insane with his weather content, and not in a good way either. I was like, yeah, no, I'm not going to watch that guy. But, you know, to each their own. Josh says they're still forming near College Station. Yep. Yep, that little blip right there. I call them blips when they're that, when they're just getting going, just little blips. Boop. So we'll keep watching that there. Brett doesn't have his audio on. Otherwise, I'd tune that in too. Kind of see what he's doing, but we'll take a look here just for a second. We've got several chasers out. Let's see. We got Brett Adair, Bryce Shelton, Brian Mfinger, Clements out there, Chase Boyers out there. Got several chasers out there. Looks like I need to refresh a couple of feeds there, so we'll just do that all at once. So there's your live look there. Bob Pack actually has some decent looking structure going on. Take a look at Bob. Where is Bob at? Looks like Bob is on that same storm near Brett. Kind of looking back into it there. Yeah, not seeing any signs of wall cloud or any type of rotation yet, but we will keep an eye on that. But that's a live look there. Bob Pack. And Brett is closing in not too far from him in Taylor, Texas, which is going to be back, which is going to be just to the east of Round Rock. So got people closing in on these storms, and hopefully we'll, we'll have some better views here in the next few minutes. We pull the chat back up. Where'd the chat go? Yeah, Anthony, Bob's actually out chasing. He, he's, he's a good guy. I've met him several times. But again, we'll take the radar out back over here. They did extend that warning. I think Jess brought that to my attention just a minute ago. Kind of getting caught up in things here. Oh, you said a new severe watch. Okay, we'll pull that up momentarily. Getting that... Storm 
up there near Mason that we've been watching. That is now a severe thunderstorm warning for Mason, Texas, until 530. The risk with that is going to be one-inch hail, 60-mile-an-hour winds. And that's going to affect a population of about 4,000 people. So again, if you're in that severe thunderstorm warning polygon, either of these, definitely want to get indoors, away from windows, take care of anything outside. Pull your car in if you got a garage, get the patio furniture if you had a big cookout yesterday with the eclipse. Let me know in chat, did you see any, did you guys see the eclipse yesterday where you're watching? I got to take this. I'll be right back on.
vault now. There's our new warning. We're included in the warning. It's moving northeast at 25 miles an hour. Just to the west, 81 over 75. We're up to 77 here. All right, we've got a big, what the heck's going on up here? Somebody's in some trouble. All right, guys, I'm gonna turn the feet a little bit. You can kind of see there's a lowering back there. That's the base of the updraft. This is gonna get interesting quick. Turn us back. They sure did. Turn us back to the front here. Looks like we got good signal down here. Good look. We are currently near uh, Copeland, Texas, I believe, is our location. Yep, Bob Pack's just to the southwest of us. Nick's out there near Pflugerville. Boy, I tell you what, look at all the beef. Beef on the hill.
merged. All right, Jarvis, jumping back in here. We've got our first tornado warning of the day. That's going to be for Mason County in Texas until 545 Central Daylight Time. We'll get into that here in just a second. Let me pull up the warning text. At 459, a severe thunderstorm capable, capable of producing a tornado was located near Fredonia, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Tornado and hail up to two inches in diameter possible. So go ahead, and if you're in that red polygon there, we'll zoom in on that for you. If you're in that red polygon, you need to be in your safe place. And that is away from windows, indoors, the lowest level of your house, and the center most interior room. Make sure to bring a pillow, blanket with you, bike helmet, tennis shoes if you have it. Again, that's a tornado warning for Mason, Texas until 545 Central. Population of about 960 people, so not a densely populated area, but still a populated area nonetheless. We may have some chasers on that storm. I'm going to go ahead and take a look here at our map, see if we do. Looks like we don't have any chasers up there at the moment, but we're riding with Brett Adair as he is heading towards that storm in Austin. And we'll go back and take a look at that there. So there for the Austin area and points northeast, we got the tornado back to the west. And he will be watching for any reports coming in over the next couple of minutes. you know anybody in that tornado warning in Mason County, Texas, please give them a phone call, shoot them a text, let them know that they're under a tornado warning with the possibility of a tornado occurring. Let's go back to our chat there if I can find it. Got Brenda Young in chat with us, new to the channel out here working on a ranch in Dripping Springs, Texas. I hate storms. Yeah, I have to agree with you there. I, you know, storms are great for the rain, but anything severe, it's always, it's always half and half for me. But I understand it. Just make sure you got ways to get warnings, and you should be fine in Dripping Springs, Texas. Let's see what's going on here. What do we got? Oh, that's just Dean telling me he's leaving the shop for a little bit. So I'm going to sit here with you. We're going to pod Brett's, Brett's audio back up. I can't say his name today. <laughs> Earlier I called him Bert. So <laughs> we'll, we'll, ride, we'll ride along here with Brett. Uh, I got a couple things to take care of in the background. And should we get any more information on that tornado warning, we will let you know here shortly. It does have some very broad rotation on it. They're looking at our rotation products. So nothing concrete, nothing screaming tornado yet, but we'll keep an eye on that let you know. We'll go back to the reflectivity there. Zoom on out. We'll kind of zoom those in closer together, and we'll pod Brett's audio back up, see what he's got going on.
left on 290 and goes that way. I, I gotta go right. You gotta take the right. Yeah, go west. That's right. It's getting the look. Got to draft right on that boundary. This isn't 290, is it? It's up on the hill. Huh? Oh, dear God. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> you thought it was a joke. Nope. <laughs> it is no joke, my friend. It is no joke. Seriously? Did I? Yeah, absolutely. You know it. <laughs> Dude, I'm so sick of this BS. It ain't funny. <laughs> Everything for about the past two weeks has just been trash, and I'm about tired of it. Just about tired of it. Okay, so there's that. Move that over there. Yeah, right there. Got one fired up on his rear. On his flank, yeah. What mode did you have that in yesterday when you were taking pictures? Three. What is three? Just mode three. I mean, I, I was just trying to learn the camera. Make it happen. Looks all right. A little blown out. Yeah, bring your exposure wheel down. That's what I was. That's what I was gonna do. Yeah, that's a little too much. Holy crap. Yeah. That is about to be a problem. That's about to be a big old issue. Did the radar go down? Maybe the manor? Radar data out of GRK. Five ten. What's going on here? It is a 
Yeah, it is. Very unstable environment right here. Dang. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mushroom cloud blow off. You got you got all kinds of crazy stuff up here. Trying to hit the boundary. One point two eight inch hail right now. Place marker here. Didn't we do this in Austin last year? Yeah. Same type of storm. Uh, I mean, I want to say that we did. This sucker's got. This sucker's got some some kick to it. Oh wow! Yeah, the rain's it's coming down. Fifty plus thousand feet. Yes, yeah, the backside. We need a south route. Maybe over here out of Manor. Yeah, I'd like this road right here. Look at all that crap, dude. That's five o'clock traffic in Austin. That sucks. Walk loud over our inflow right, tail. It's going right there. All right, guys, let's see if. Look at that updraft. Man, that thing's straight freaking vertical. Front side. Right here. Oh, oh that's right. I saw the back side. There we go. That's what we're looking for. There you go. You can see the inflow now. Going straight into the storm, straight ahead of us. There's a boundary connection point here too that's uh it's pretty solid right now. as we keep moving east. Oh yeah, that was Waco. Yep, yep, yep. Let's 
Let's see what she does. Probably drop the ND now, can I? All right, yeah, I see. I, I, we got a visual now on what looks to be, uh, that's probably the boundary that it's trying to connect to. And we're not, this isn't a bad, this isn't too bad of a spot right here. Uh, starting to go into rotation here. Probably need to get to that road that goes south out of Manor. At the very least, you got gigantic hail. At the bare minimum. Oh yeah. yeah. All right guys, you can see where this thing is latched up with a boundary right there. Holy cow. That's what we want to do. We probably want to take 973. Drop down just a little bit. You see that? It's beefing up. Yeah, it's there. going. That's a, that's a scud going into it. Watching the updraft, trying to latch to it now. Place marker here. Start motion for the marker to, yeah. Where's our south route? All right, guys. That's the area where we've got inflow going into the storm. That's the, the area where the hook, the updraft is located. Show you the whole storm right there. Uh, sort of, sort of, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhat. Two inch report there at Westlake Hills in Travis County too. Yep. Oh yeah, look look at it wrapping. Look at it trying to wrap on the boundary right there. It's trying to produce a tornado, guys. Woo! Yep. We need to get south. Daggum it, that's a toll road. We may get off 973. Here's the highway right here. This one right yeah, this is it right here, it looks like. Well, is that it? Dad gum, I can't tell. We may be one road short. Yep. 
Yeah. All right, you got a clear lane if yeah, you want to get back Lexington. over. You got a clear lane yeah, right North, now. North Lexington Street is 973. All right, it's rushing. Yeah. Rushing quick. Oh, yeah. See the left, see the right and the left, guys? don't think we have a tornado warning, but boy, it's, uh, look at this, impressive. Very impressive. This is our road, right? How did we, how? Oh, oh yeah. This, okay, coming up. does this hit? Crazy looking supercell right now. Alright, I think our actual wall cloud may be developing on that back flank. Right in there, guys. Yep, she's lowering. Come on, guys. We need a left turn signal. Bad. Because that's a... I mean, it's flying into it. It's not wasting any time. It doesn't have a great look on velocity still just yet, but it's trying its best to get going. They didn't walk loud there. <laughs> Left turn yield on a flashing yellow. This is a solid freaking red, though. Mm -hmm. If it keeps going, we're, we're going to have to turn around and go back east and try to dip south. I don't see a funnel yet. I see it trying to attempt to latch the boundary, though. This place sucks when it comes to traffic. I also don't want to get destroyed by hail here with this core that's about to eat us. Look. Mm -hmm. Yay! How important was it for you to turn around, huh? All right. <laughs> Old boundary cloud. Yeah. Old boundary <laughs> wall. I can't really tell. Oh, there's a spinning right there. Yeah. Got eyes on a little rotation. There's a plane flying on the other side of it. Yep. What the hell is this? Well, well, let's take you back to that road. So you gotta take a left. Yeah. Get in there when you can. Oh man. All right, guys, we gotta go back to the east here. 
so we can dip south on the primary roadway. Uh, um, any area of rotation would be to our west. It's uh, it's trying to latch this boundary. It's it's bounded aloft. That's a sign of a. Uh, Oh, it looks like it's all trying to come together here just south of Manor. The boundaries, I don't know if it's wash, washing out or it's just getting destroyed by the southeast flow. Because it's, uh... This is our turn right here, isn't it? All right, yeah, there's Manor, or the town of Manor. Yeah, the arrow's green. That You're means they're not, not. they're not turning. <laughs> You're from here. I'm not. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. That is our area of interest. Look at this bell-shaped updraft, dude. Holy crap. I'll take a picture of it at the very least. Oh yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's right there. Yeah. Look at the rising motion. We got a visual on it, guys. Uh, we need to. Yeah. Watch right there. Watch right here. It's rising quickly. I think we that's the right here. that's the hook. Oh yeah, I'm watching it like vigorously rise. If we could maybe turn in right here. Okay. Yeah, turn in right here. Right here. Am I wrong? Look how vigorous that's moving, guys. What? There's a vertical motion right there. I wonder if they're about to tornado it, or if that was what that was. No, no tour. Big time rotation increase right here in front of us. Yeah. See it over the trees. Yeah. Hook echoes just to our west now. All right, you got right to left here. You got left to right, right here in the middle. You see it? Yeah, it's right here in the middle, right over that light pole. Yeah, I know it. Yep. Very good, very good spin right there. Tornado right now, if it were to form, is gonna track just to the south of us, I think. See the spin? Yeah. You guys see the spin right there? Oh! I 
it's that it's behind that tree, man. Mm -hmm. Look at that cinnamon bun. Maybe we pull up, pull up a little bit. Pull up just a little bit in between these two trees right here. Yeah. Right, right here. There you go. You can sit now. Yeah. It's gonna do it. We're here. All right, I'm watching it off to the left right there a little bit. I mean, it's wrapped up aloft. It's trying to wrap the boundary in right there. Trying to funnel right there. About to have to dip to the south a little bit, aren't we? I mean, you can see it, dude. Yeah, it's all kind of right there. If you've ever wondered, wants to right freaking there. If you've ever wondered what you're looking at on radar when you're looking at a a boundary trying to latch a storm latch onto a boundary, that right there is it. It is spinning. Uh -huh. It is not spinning significantly yet, but it is spinning. And I mean, we are right here. If it if it were going to drop a tornado, we are right where that would occur. All right, look at the column it's getting now. That is a that is a collar to the left side of your screen there. It's getting more outflow dominant though. It looks like. Yep. All right, let's turn it and burn it. We're gonna have to go. We need to get east. I'm wondering if we go up the manor and go east. Look at all the. You see the clouds doing their dance. A lot of turbulent spin right here, man. So don't go right, go back up and go right. Hold on. I'm looking. Well, heck, I can't see, can I? Uh, it's trying to run off the boundary is what's wrong. We don't need to go too far to the south. Is there? We need to go up here to Blake Manor and take a right. That'll bring us back down in front of it. Okay. Out that way. Then we can. We need to take a left here and go up because that's all neighborhood up through there. We need to go up here and take a right. Yeah, we'd have to go all the way down here to Healing Horses or something. Healing. Something. Woo, we finna get into it, ain't we? Oh, that's hail, buddy. Did you see that? Yeah. All right. Good time to hit the road. Did it. Oh, yeah, that's probably about to get pretty asinine right here. Unless we may need to go turn and go south, turn and burn. Well, that's what we're doing. We're supposed to go east and never go southeast. Yeah, but do we have time? Yeah. Okay. Hail doesn't look to be tremendously large at the moment. Ah. Well, right. it's going to be the biggest question. But there's going to be a lot of hail right here. Point or, point or, and then we do it. 
Is this it? Go point north. It didn't go north. It didn't go north. I got you. We got around dime size hail falling right now. In between. Is that our turn? Oh uh, yeah, it was. Oh, you're going right here to go up here to Blake Manor. That's the only road out to the south. Oh, to Blake Manor. I yeah, got you. That's the only I got road you. Out to the Dude, look at the hail. <laughs> right here. Right here. And this loops around right here, right? Yeah, then I got to go up here to Blake Manor. Holy cow. Dude, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, go ahead. That's all lifting and rotating right there, too. Holy cow, dude. All right, we don't have any crazy hail yet. Okay, pretty good shots. All right, this goes southeast, and then where is it? Any way that we can go east? Oh, yeah, there's some east routes up of this, isn't there? Further down. Soft hail right now, really. So we need to take like some of this east routes out here, like Hog Eye Road or something. Still looking at this big supercell thunderstorm. It's not as organized as it was a few minutes ago. There's a second supercell thunderstorm forming on the back side of this one, but I don't think it's going to have any kind of a. If I had to guess, it's not going to have any kind of a rotating potential, though. It's behind the boundary, it looks like. We'll have to watch the sails back to the west. Whew. That one that's going to go toward Killeen is, is very nasty looking though. Tons of lightning. What can we use to get out here to get back up to 290? Just say we wanted to get over here. Directions. That right there. That right there is what we want to do so that we can get back over. It's going to be a weird, funky path for a minute, but Hog Eye Road, okay. We got to get back out front though. Okay. Good shots. Look at this. Wow. That's spinning. Updraft, updraft base right there. We're literally, guys, if, if there weren't gonna be 
you know, a spinning feature to produce a tornado. We're literally very close to where it would be. So we're in the right <clears throat> spot. It's just there's there's not a lot at this moment. Lifting, rising, and into it. See there? Look at all that turbulence right there, dude. Holy crap. I sound like a noob out here with uh, having not seen a supercell in months. Been all junk. You got a flat. Flat, flat. And we ain't got nothing to plug it, do we? <laughs> like a flat, flat, buddy. Oh, yeah. God, I love it. trying to figure out Oh, I see it. The whole that's where the boundary's at. The whole thing's kinda doing its thing. Oh, let me check. I had AAA on here too. Let me find it.
how do I log in? Manage account. Sign in. Trying to open that door and it falls apart. Oh, oh my god. It ain't one thing, it's another. Hey, watch that white RF. Surge down. What's that? I said, watch the white oh, yeah. D surge down now. Yeah. Big rainbow now. Really? Right in front of the truck. Nice. nice. Mm hmm. He's so very bright. Not a shocker. Nice shot in front of the truck at least. Let's see, six two zero and it's a full one. Forty one two seven oh five. Three five oh four four four. Oh. That's what I just said. That's my account. Sign in. We're fine. Just unfortunate. Set your password. Password. I am hurrying. Quickly as I can. Thank 
you for calling AAA. If this
All right, guys, we're bringing it back. I had a business phone call a minute ago. Um, decent little storm back behind us in uh, Austin right here. You can see on the drone right now. But uh, it's actually got more of a vertical cut now than it's had in the last little bit. But the storm up near, uh, up to the north, that one is very, uh, very substantial. It's got a considerable damage tag on it for destructive hail. Um, it was headed near, it's headed toward uh, Gerald, Texas, basically. We'll see what they do. This this storm's just gotten larger hail again. Down to fifteen percent. About to have to bring it down. There's only so much I can do with a battery. All right, I got one battery about ready. Working on getting it back up. Give us just one second, guys. Gotta have power. Got the power. Did it lose it? Oh, there it goes. There we go. Pretty vertical back there now. Woo, 
she's popping lightning, buddy. It's not one thing, it's another, buddy. Glad I heard it because I didn't feel it worth the crap. I'm so happy this thing don't have lock nuts on it. Oh man! Look at the Mamatas at, at your front now. They're trying to drop.
another plane flew out of that cell just then. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. Really, really don't want to get hit by another storm right here. Woo! That was a bolt. I mean a bolt. That's a storm to the east. Then that's a storm to the west. A lot of cloud contamination taking place now. It's shooting a bunch of lightning out front on the uh, on everything. That's what's got me concerned now. Like there's bolts that are popping out of the blue in front of it, almost to us. like a lot of side lobe up there to the north I, I still believe if there's gonna be a tornado it may be the storm to the south as it goes to the east look at LaGrange Texas it's 80 over 77 with an east wind and this one is getting its stuff together a whole lot faster than that last one did And the boundary's laid out right here. So I do not want to get ran over by it. Yep.
All right, I have to pull the drone down now. We have a. Uh, we have rain beginning. Dude, that was sweet. Big lightning bolt in the front side of the cell struck over here, like right out your window to the left. Pop it, pop it. Yeah. That's what I said. If you don't want to die. I sent him a text message just now. Maybe he'll respond, or maybe he'll leave us out here to get by whatever's coming. America, good job with Triple A.
also is barred up the chain. Uh, got painted letters on the front. I don't know. Do what now? I'm gonna say this is a business. It just has that look. I don't know that it's a house. Yeah. Because the way it's got concrete all the way around it, it's like a corporate building. It's got sidewalls all the way around the outside of it, kind of like this. They would be building this parking right here all around it. Oh, yeah. Well, there's our. Come on, man. Clint went all the way to Vicksburg. Source air, baby. It may not do it. That gum. Well, this we got gas. Oh, man. What's 
Got a tire problem, guys. And here comes a contractor. Seriously? For the company? Yep. This no, this this house. Oh snap. waiting to get out of the road. Okay. Think that Amazon Prime truck's got tires on it, hey? Huh? Think that Prime truck's got tires on it? I don't know. Don't really know what kind of shape the spare's in. <laughs> it ain't gonna be good. No, it's been on there a minute. There you go, go for it. Yep, we just burn it up. Golly. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. That, that, it's, it, hey. I felt it. Hey, it ain't like we ain't got more money just to, you know, set on fire or anything. That's what happened. It, it locked up. It quit cooling. Is that all connected? 
ride on one piece of the motor. By itself. What are you doing? God. Yeah, I feel that. Hey. The other part I don't feel good about is being next to a metal fence. Yeah, that's what we got coming right here. Yep. Yeah, it's coming right here. <clears throat> well, yeah, be pretty bad here. We don't then. know a lot of things about that whole deal. But okay. Have a good one, buddy. Thank you. He said the idler might have locked up. I don't know. No, I mean, it's every time you cut the AC pump on, oh, it makes seven. noise. If I don't get hit by this developing supercell tornado, whatever it is, you know, I mean, it's just another Monday, so. It's got a clearing now. Oh, does it? Oh, look, it's severe, too. Mm -hmm. There's a hook echo coming. Yeah, you know, it happens. You get blown away sometimes, sometimes you don't. I guess we'll find out here in a minute. Yeah. Well, they're supposed to be on the way. Like 45 minutes. Ago. Yeah, they, they, they've been called like an hour almost. 
I probably need a spare because that spare's dry rotted, I'm pretty certain. Yeah. But Oh yes, that's that was pretty key, but I don't know. Hey, you got them excited? <laughs> yeah, let's uh, hold on. Okay. I will say this though, the her pretty much nailed it. Oh, I know. It does well on these clear slot days. Yep. Okay. I hear somebody coming. Really? Show you something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, until you get that big trough swinging out, which is what causes the bar to go out. I could foresee happening maybe from one of those sales because it's but it's got to have oh wow uh -huh. look at the hook that's coming around at me Chris right at me right at me that's got a hell of a beaver tail I have not that is some meat right there 
Drone's got to go back up. Yeah. <laughs> Which one's got the most battery? Yo! Give me a good battery, We gotta get this in the air, like yeah. stack. Right. Hey! Yeah. Turn my stream on, Chris. I'm about to give a, a great look right into the mouth of that thing. Cause I ain't got no, I ain't got nothing I can do other than get hit right here, buddy. Yeah, I guess All right, hold on. Birds coming up. Should be going in the air here in just a second. Jesus. Was that lightning? Yeah. Yeah. It is. Okay. God almighty. All right. Whatever it is, is right there. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> well, you're about to see it. It's got a nice little foot. off the surface are roaring into it and I've got a time lapse also going on out here with it rotating or with it pulling all the scud and stuff in so we'll see if it happens or not that's it, it's hooked though it looked nasty looking hook echo on the radar Yeah, you're not seeing much of one, neither am I. No, it's, it's, all, it's all low level. Right. I know, I know the wind in the airport and there also still out of the northeast. And San Marcos is 8272 out of the southeast. Well, right. We're out of the, and we're south of the, southeast of the airport. Yeah. And I'll tell you, there's a couple areas that I'm looking at that have me kind of wondering. Whatever it is, is going to be right in there. Yeah. I'm at between uh, what is it, Weberville? Weather Weberville and Manor, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're sitting you're sitting fucked. That thing's gonna eat your ass in about all of Yeah. Yeah, I was afraid of that. It's right about time that the guy'll show up. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, <laughs> I just turned it. You can see the. It's almost like it's kind of. It's almost like the inflow is lower level than the updraft allows. You know what I mean? Like. Hold on. You there? You talking about my YouTube feed? It's Drew. You can go to Live Storm Chasing and look at it full screen if you want to. Yeah. It is. That's where you've got that, that, that. If you look, there's a little ball on the hook now. And that, that he heavy area red DBZ, I think, is that. 
I think. Let me pull it back a little left. I mean, I think the area just to the west of that uh, bigger looking wall cloud feature is probably the area of concern in the rain core right there. see it now well as we go toward dark it's not really not really anything that I would oh is that a funnel right there to the left I don't think so I don't think it's attached it's not attached never mind I mean, it's a nice storm. The yeah, aggravating. Man, it's so aggravating. Well, I had one. This is the this is the backup car, so it wasn't in this car, unfortunately, for whatever reason. Then the AC compressor. Look at this stuff coming up off the ground over here. Hey, that's your window. You can see the clouds. The condensed, the condensed clouds are, are coming up off the ground. Yeah. That's what this is right here on the front side of the drone. trying to wait on it to get over here over top of us. Yep. Oh, is it? Yeah. I got you. I see it now. Yeah, I think it's a uh, I mean, it's crazy though, because it's like 78 degrees here or some crap. 80? It's like 80 here. 2.74. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's Well, possibly, ain't no doubt. Yeah. Yeah, this looks more gust fronty shelfy, don't it? Yep. side right there but it's that's where everything's flowing into but it's it's above surface layer it looks like LCH No kidding. I 
don't want this rear storm, these ones that are developing down the line, to hit this while I'm sitting here because that's what actually the models will show you taking off and running all the way. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's a really nice looking stream though, right there. Yep. Woo, that was a big bolt. Um, here comes the rotating area. Hey, step out of the truck and take a look. It's elevated, but it's spinning right there. Weakly spinning. See it? Yeah. Left yeah. to right. It's gonna come right over the time left. You see it? The rotation? Yep, there it is, right there. Dude. I don't know, but you can see it. You can see like we talked about, that low tail clouds going right into that. Dude, it's coming right over my time lapse. I mean, it's literally gonna go maybe just north of us where we're sitting at. I mean, Where was that? Right there. To the left? Yep. Look at that. Look at that rain shield. No, it's outflowing right there. Yeah, it did. I think it's actually happening to the east, man. That's the RFD starting to swing. See that surge? And you see where the curtain's going? Look where that curtain's going. Look at it. You can see the rotation right there. Let me shut these doors because as soon as I break this down, we're going. It's weak though. All right, you can see a wall cloud lowering now. I'm, I'm gonna center it up. You can see a much more defined on the back side of the, uh, of the rain, the RFD surge now. And I can see it's lowering too. I can see it from the ground level. It's, it's trying to funnel. No, it's left of the water tower, buddy. Holy crap, look at that. See it trying to cone? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, I see it on low level velocities, but I'm wondering if it's gonna get undercut by the RFP instead of being a being a true. I smell, I smell leaves or something. We got hail or something coming at us. There ain't, there's zero doubt about that fact. It got undercut, now it's trying to form another funnel. How bad? Woo! Center frame, baby, center frame. Yeah, it looks like it may go north of me though. Uh-oh. Go 
going to see something else crazy? You're not going to expect it. Oh, shit. Hey, you there? Watch this. I turned the camera all the way to the opposite direction. And it's rising up here in the field. That's the boundary. Massive hell core about to hit us. Around the back side of this or which side? North winds. Oh, oh crap. Yeah. The little swing through just, just swung right through us. <laughs> oh, aloft, it, it is rotating pretty hardcore right behind us. He said he's about to get a what? Oh my God. I just got something very awesome. I'm gonna let Heath view it and then I'm gonna let him make a call on this. Hold it. Watch this. Is an arrow? Can't turn it on. I didn't think so. Watch this. Watch what happens. to get to the good part. Watch what spins right over our head. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, 
Too much lifting it up. RFD, baby. Yep. All right, let me see if these guys are coming or not. We got to get ahead of this crap. Yeah, it's, it's going to come. If you're using the holographic, you have to check our Jackson radar because it's crazy. Do what now? Check the Jackson radar because, yeah, Clement's about to get something. Clement or uh, yeah. uh, Logan? Okay. All right. Yeah, he's north of Vicksburg. Okay. Alright man. Alright. See you. Oh, we're about to get something too. It's bigger than baseballs if we don't. Oh man, I love it. Just love it. <sighs> Dad gum. It's about to spin it up on top of our head, it looks like. I mean, there's all kinds of turbulence around us. Anything that we can get on a windshield, or does it go to the windshield? What's that? Oh, uh, it, man, it's not gonna really do anything. Defrost ain't. You yeah, ain't got to cut it down. Cause we can't. <laughs> There we go. That part's starting to work. Come on. Whoa. Come on. Lightning's going stupid now. Very intense rotation aloft. Another storm forming. What is this? Lake Harlow Road. Lake Man. Thank you. 
boy, it's mighty dark back up in there now. My bad. It's headed right for Elgin. Ooh, we're rocking, ain't we? Boy, RFD surge coming in from all hell. Over two and a half inch hail just missed us. Yeah, this one's got the bomb, bomb echo tops. get out of here long enough for this dude to get us squared away. Oh, we got four inch hail size on the storm coming. Oh, man. Please, dude, hurry up. Probably why he's not. It's because of the storm being on top of us. He's sitting outside somewhere. 
Either that or he was driving through it scared to death, which I could see both th both things being a problem. I could see both pieces of that being problematic. I think the storm's about to pass us, though. I just need it to get. Where we at? What is this? Like Manor Road. Gotcha. <sighs> Manor, Texas.
Is that him? Nope. Is that the guy? Who's the guy? There you go, man. Dustin said, do I need to come change the tire? Yeah. Sure. Man, I almost wonder if we don't need to back out a little bit. I don't know. You gotta have some room to pull in. Dude, man, in the oh, yeah. Colorado had a truck one. I don't know how big his, this guy's truck is. I don't know if they thought we were fixing to go in that damn property, but I see his little cameras are on up there now, and he parked the damn truck in front of the gate like somebody was gonna go through it. came out watch likely large hail with an increasing severe wind threat that's that's what I'm worried about because this is what's gonna what what's forming up over here is what's gonna haul to the east and we do not want to get caught in that They maintained a tin hatch over there.
we need a, we need this break right here, and he needs to be here when this break gets here. Because mm -hmm. this is bad news. Oh, snap. That right there to me was getting ready to spin up. I mean, look at that. Right there is where it spins up. And it drops, tries to drop right there and it dies off. Yeah, we're hoping. Three, over three inch hail, almost four on that storm now. It's showing 3.7 right in Elgin. So 
there. What is the problem? I hate everything right now.
Pain in the neck, man. Pain in the neck. God just texted me from that Simons. It'd just be nice if somebody would answer you. That's my biggest deal. If you can't do it, 
that's fine, but if you can, something would be nice too. God damn. We'd have passed three loves if we didn't need one. Oh, no. Yep. That's how it always freaking rolls, too. Tell you what I want to do, get out in front of this so that we can ride and at least not sweat to death. I know it. I know how to tell if that tire is going flat though, again. Now, what it was, is that thing had a nail in it. For whatever reason, we ran over something that exited it. pulled it out. And it had it, probably been in there for thousands of miles. Yeah. Whatever reason it came out today, yeah. that's, that's when we, when we noticed it. Yeah. It wouldn't have taken but a minute or two to air a tire out with that. Ooh, buddy, man, we get some nasty looking stuff now.
That dude didn't know how to put a plug in either. Didn't have a ramer. Didn't know he needed to twist it to plug it out. So I said twist it three, twist it, twist it, twist it. A little better English would be good too. Oh yeah. You're right. If you want to load up, if you find a gas station up here before we exit somewhere and you want to load up with fuel so that we're full, we can go ahead and do that any point. Because we finna ride into a little bit of rough weather. Oh yeah, it's lining out, and we about to ride into Elgin. Goddamn plug better hold. Nope, I hear hail. It's small right now, but it's hail. Uh, showing 1.4 inch hail. Woo! I seen that. Crazy strong. But I see it. Pretty decent sized hailstones falling. Power Flooding.
That's a wind driven right there, buddy. Super sale. blowing out of now. We are almost out ahead of it.
baby. We need to get out of this and get ahead of this next one. That one looks pretty problematic. far enough ahead let me just look at that damn tire we'll pull off and look at it It's the second one right here that's coming behind us is the one though. For the moment. I'm trying to. Is it actually working? Yeah, it showed left. Uh, earlier two pounds so I'm wondering if the TPS actually works on it. Yeah. It's just got the TPS is backwards.
We're about to kill the...